Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning, and today we are looking at two Infinity heat pump condensers, the 25 VNA 848A003. Uh, as always, please like this video and subscribe to my page for more videos like this. Um, the other day, I showed you this unit that we actually had finished and was running. This was the upstairs unit, and today we finished the downstairs unit which is right here. It's also the exact same size as this one. They're both four ton. They are both variable speed. They are both the Carrier Infinity Series. And uh, they both have those five speeds to keep this house perfect temperature inside at all times. Basically, the way they do that is with their variable speed motors. They have temperature sensors and humidity sensors outdoors, as well as indoors on the Carrier Infinity Control thermostat. So it decides what speed to run at for you to keep you as comfortable as possible. You don't always need four tons of air to cool or heat your home. Sometimes you only need three tons or two and a half tons. So these are heat pump condensers. Both of them are on heating mode right now. So a lot of people um, that are converting to a heat pump system need to remember that when you are running either AC or, or you're heating, the outside condenser is actually gonna be on. That's how it produces the heat and the cooling is from this unit out here. Um, these units both use a 50 amp breaker, which was very similar to the AC units that were here before. Uh, the last AC units were here for about 30 years. Uh, they got old and were not as efficient. So these are a lot more efficient at 18 sear with the different speeds in them. So this will give the customer a lot more comfort. Um, this house is roughly about 3,600 square feet. So we went with a four ton downstairs and a four ton upstairs. That's what was also here before. We did the fan coil in the attic on this unit, which you can see in my other video. And we did the fan coil in the garage for the downstairs system, which you can also see in my other video. And I go through those and what it takes to take out the gas furnace and put the fan coil in there, which actually moves the air through the house. So if you'd like any more information on these videos, leave a comment in the section below. Visit us at albertair.com. Um, and please like our page, subscribe to our page. We really appreciate that. We appreciate the feedback. And hopefully going forward, we will have some more information on the rebates that are associated with these units. We're still awaiting the state rebates. We know about the federal tax credits on these of um, up to $3,200 for installation of, a, of any heat pump system that is 16 seer or higher. And then these do get the carrier cool cash rebate. So on each of these systems, it is $1,100 each, so $2,200 total for this job. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this video. And again, please like and subscribe to my page.